Name's Joe McClure. And I'm Bob McClure. We're brothers that started McClure's Pickles about six years ago. We, we truly believe we, we owe our existence to our great-grandmother's pickle recipe. As legend goes, my father married my mother for the pickle recipe. Mike and I have been married for 40 years, and of course the only reason he married me was for the pickle recipe. Still haven't got the whole recipe yet. Oh no, and you're not going to. True love. Before they got married, my dad ate plenty and plenty of pickles. Basically, he kind of spearheaded bringing the tradition down to us, essentially. Jill, the Jill. Our mother learned how to pickle from our grandfather. Our dad passed that recipe down to us, and we would make it as a family every summer as well. Always loved those pickles, and the kids said, we ought to start a company. This when they were young men. Let's start a company, let's start a company. Well, they finally achieved that. The company, you know, uh, kind of formed out of, you know, a little bit of luck, timing. Both Joe and I were, were doing different things at the time. McClure is a started in Brooklyn, New York, and Detroit, Michigan. That started because both my brother and I were in, were in two different locations. Well, it makes me reminisce. We took a little bit of extra savings and took a recipe that we, we cared about and knew how to make and decided to try it out as a business. We knew we had a great tasting recipe and if there was no business in it, we had a lot of jars that we could give away to friends as holiday presents. When we started the business, uh, we were selling in a handful of stores that Joe and I were going to door to door in Michigan as well as in, in New York. We were still jarring all of these by hand, Joe in Detroit, me in Brooklyn. The New York Times decided to do a review of it and literally launched us into the pickle business, which at that point was kind of like, all right, sink or swim. We're in the business here. I now. think we're still thinking, we, do, we have a business? Yeah. Like question mark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My wife Natalie and I had our son Hayden about two years ago. Uh, he was born in, in New York um, and we shortly thereafter decided to make the move back to Michigan. It feels great to be back here in Detroit, one to be near Joe. Uh, and to also be near my folks. Joe and I are, are able to hang out more, talk more. I'm glad to absolutely have him back. Business-wise, uh, it, it worked out, worked out well. We still have our, our offices in Brooklyn, but deciding to bring our manufacturing back to invest in Detroit. We wanted to be a part of helping Detroit, um, revitalizing the, the city, wanting to, to see some better things happen for, for the area. So McClure's is yeah, absolutely a family business. We have an old family friend, Sam, who's on board. He lost uh, he lost his job during the economic downturn. I was right at the time uh, when we needed an, an employee. Jack Corley is on board and he's uh, uh, an ex-auto executive. He was making pretty good money and he jumped on board with us to make pretty bad money for a while. <laughs> you know, my dad's on the payroll, my mom's on the payroll, and now he's on the payroll. Me and Bob are finally got on the payroll. Having Bob and Joe as your boss is a little bit different. Um, they don't listen to us, of course, but we have to listen to them. They wanted to start this company, and of course they asked us, will you back us and will you work for free? And here we are, and all we said is, if you fail, we're gonna move in with you for the rest of your lives. This entire uh, process from the beginning to where it is today has been beyond our wildest imagination and dreams. 
we used to be in the kitchen and she would get upset when I wanted to make 170, 180 jars. Now we're making thousands of jars. We just could not be more proud. I never would have thought that the, the company would be uh, where it is today because things happen uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, hourly to hourly. We're so invested in those moments that it can be hard to take a step back and go, wow, look at, look at where, where this is kind of, this is gone. Uh, like, what's the next step? Yeah. What is the next step? Keep making pickles. Yeah.